Okay, so we're doing inverse mod numbers. So we'll start with the example 17x is equivalent to 1 mod 43. Now it's just asking what number times 17 will give you 1 when it's mod 43. So to get x on its own, we just take 17 over the other side. So that will give us 1 over 17 mod 43. And that's just the same as saying x is equivalent to 17 to the power of negative 1 mod 43. Now to work that out we use the Euclidean algorithm and the extended Euclidean algorithm. So we start off with this 43 here and that'll be equal to 17 times what which is 2 plus 9 and then we want to underline these two here just so we remember that those are the two that we want to bring down next time. So then we bring this 17 down bring the 9 down and so that's times what number which is obviously 1 and then plus 8 underline them again okay and then bring the 9 down bring the 8 down and that's obviously times 1 plus 1 now when we get a 1 in this position that means that the GCD of 43 and 17 is 1 we can only ever find an inverse number when this GCD is 1, otherwise you can't do it. So in this case it is 1, so we can continue. So now we want to move on to the extended Euclidean algorithm. So to do that, we want to write this term here in terms of, sorry, this equation here in terms of 1. So we want 1 equals, now to get that on its own, we just take this 8 times 1 over the other side. So we get 9 minus 8 and then it's times 1 but we can just leave that off because it's the same as saying 8. <clears throat> okay so now we want to sub in we've already worked with this equation so we want to work back up the Euclidean algorithm and we want to sub in this equation here. Now we want it in terms of this number on the end again. So same as we did before just take this 9 times 1 over the other side. So that gives us 17 minus 9, again times 1, but we can just leave it off because it's the same. So we want to sub this equation into this one just above it. So we'll get 1 equals 9 minus where there's an 8. You want to put this 17 minus 9. And then we can just simplify that. A negative and a negative make a positive. And we can simplify that one again. We've got a 9 and a 9, so that makes 2 times 9. And then minus 17. Okay, so now we've already subbed in here this equation. So we want to go back up the Euclidean algorithm and we want to use this one instead. So we want to sub that into what we've just done. So again, we want it in terms of this 9 here. So that'll make it sub 9 equals, take this 17 times 2 over the other side, so we get 43 minus 17 times 2. Now we want to sub this one into the one before it, so that makes 1 equals 2 times, instead of a 9, we want to write this equation here, and then don't forget this minus 17 as well. Okay, and then we can just expand that one out. So we've got 2 times 43. And then because this uh, 17 is in the original equation, we want to keep it in terms of that 17. So we've got negative 17 times 2 and then times 2 again. So that is the same as saying negative 4 times 17. And then we also have this uh, extra minus 17. So we can uh, simplify that again. So 2 times 43, we've got a negative 4 times 17 and a negative 1 times 17. So that's negative 5 times 17. Okay, and so we've got our equation in terms of 43 and 17 now. Because the original question was mod 43 
anything times 43, mod 43, is going to be 0. So in this bottom equation here, when we have 2 times 43 there, it's only it's going to equal 0 because it's mod 43. So we can just cross that out. And then it's just whatever number is attached to this 17 here because that's what was in the original question. So we've got 17 to the power of minus 1 mod 43 is equivalent to negative 5. Now, we want that between 0 and 42 because it's mod 43. So that is equivalent to 38. So when the original question asked 17x is equivalent to 1 mod 43, then our x equals 38. And that's it. That's how you do it.